Hi guys, my name is Lisa Canny. I'm from County Mayo and I will be your tutor for the Beginners and Tenor Banjo course here on the Online Academy of Irish Music. Um, what you can expect from this course is um, to start from the very, very beginning with the basics and work towards having a repertoire of about 15 or 16 um, of the uh, most common and most loved um, tunes in, in the Irish repertoire. Um, we'll go through everything from how to hold your, your plec to how to plug the strings and all the way up to doing some double stops, tribbles and triplets. Um, and I will take you through step by step. So um, I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start from the very beginning and um, introduce you to your instrument and um, what you're going to be playing. These are tenor banjos, four strings, and um, the usual way of tuning the strings are G, D, A and E. E. And I'd recommend that you get a tuner if you haven't got uh, your ear up to scratch yet, but um, they're very, very cheap and easily got, so um, they're a great tool to have when you're starting off and tune it up to G, D, A and E. And um, I'm gonna start by learning how to hold the plec and learning how to play up, down, up, down, which is the basic and most fundamental skill you need. So if you just um, hold your, as if you're giving a thumbs up, a loose one, and place your plec just there, and thumb goes on top of it, secure it, nice and simple. I'm just going to keep and try try to keep it in that position. So we're going to go straight to the D string, which is your second string, and we rest our arm on. Some people have ha have arm rests. I have a green one here, um, but most banjos um, don't unless you put one in. So you just rest your hand in a comfortable position, and uh, you're aiming for this area here of the um, of the banjo to play. So we're going to the D string and we're just simply going to do down, up, down, up. So what I mean down, up is just plug down and then plug up on the string. So every single time you play a note you're going to change. So the reason behind that is that when you want to gain speed that will be twice as easy rather than doing down, 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 down and get repetitive string injury. So down, up, down, up, down, up. A string and on the E string and down on the G string. So it's also important to note that it's my wrist that's moving and not my whole arm. So it's all um, the movement is all in your wrist. So we're just going to do a little ditty just to um, practice that to make sure you're doing your down ups. And we're going to go up and then to A. Peace. We're going to move up to the strings, two on A, down, up, onto E, and back down to D. Three Ds. So we'll do that again a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Next we're going to move on to uh, the scale and we're going to do a scale of D to begin. Um, so we start on D and we're going to end on D and um, you're going to play with your left hand if you are right handed that is of course um, and uh, we're going to count your thumb as one, uh, two, three, four and five. Um, so I'll refer to my numbers now. So you just rest your thumb in and around um, between the second and the third fret usually. Um, and just you don't need a tight grip, it's just nice and loose. Put back our hand, make sure you're holding your plec in the correct manner. And now what, all we're going to do is down up again, but we're going to do the scale. So we start with D, open string. Then our second finger onto the second fret, E. Third finger onto the fourth fret, 
F sharp. Fourth finger onto the fifth fret G. And then we're going to move on to the next string, which is A, open string for A. Second finger on the second fret for B. Third finger on the fourth fret for C sharp. And finally, our fourth finger on high D, fifth fret. So that's your scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, all the way up from top to bottom. So we'll do that again. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and high D. And we're going to go back down then. So we'll start on the high D again. Just down one to C sharp. Skip a fret down to B. Open string for A. G with your fourth finger. F sharp's right beside it. E with your second finger. And open D. And we're back down again. And if you want, you can chart it out for yourself so you can see a visual of it as well. Um, but it's the same spacing between each string. So we're going to do that again. Now to remember to do up, down, up, down the whole way through. Don't forget what you just learned. So let's go again. One, two. So then when you've that mastered, you can um, just make a little bit more practice for yourself and uh, double up on each note so you, to practice your down up down up so we'll just do two of each note first tune and it's not an Irish tune just yet we'll get to that very soon but first you have to learn a few nursery rhymes that we all know so in the next class we will look at twinkle twinkle okay so here we go our first tune and it's the classic twinkle twinkle and uh, it's a good one to practice because it makes sure that you do your down up down ups and also it uses just the notes that we've learned in the D scale so we're going to start with two D's down up then two A's, down up. Second finger on the second fret for B, two of those. And one A. Next phrase, we all know it. Fourth finger on to the fifth fret of your G. Third finger, right beside it on F sharp, two of those. Down to E for two. And a long D. Okay, so that phrase again, just that much from the beginning. Make sure you're doing down ups. Next phrase, we're going to start on open A, two A's, down to G, F sharp, one long E, and repeat that. to D, D, A, A, two Bs, long A, and all the way back to D. So, we'll try it from the top, from beginning to end, and if you want to pause it at any stage, you can, but I'll keep going from beginning to end and uh, see how you get on. After two, one, two. Thank you. 
out your question. So now it's time to expand on the notes we know and um, learn our first Irish tune. And uh, the first tune that most Irish social musicians learn, or one of the first at least, is always the Kerry Polka. And I'm sure you'll recognise it. But first we need to learn a few more notes. So we've done a D, E, F, G, S. We're just going to continue on into the next string. That's your E. F sharp is on the second fret again, second string. Now this is a slightly different. Your G is right beside it. Whereas in the other, on the other strings we skipped one. But G is right beside it. So it's actually on the third fret with your third finger. And then we skip one for the A. So fifth fret, fourth finger. So we have E, F sharp, G, A. Let's try those. E, F sharp, G, A. And make sure you're still doing down up, down up with all of these. So if we want to start from the beginning with the scale of D and go all the way up to A now. So we start on D, open string. Make sure you do down up. F sharp. feeling adventurous we're going to use our baby finger and skip in two up two frets skip one and this is your high B and you might find that your baby finger is a little weaker than the rest of your fingers that's okay in time it'll become strong so between A and B that's a little bit of a stretch try not move your whole hand up just just move um, your fingers up to stretch first so e, F, G, A. so now that we have all the notes necessary to learn the Kerry Polka, let's do just that. So I will play it for you first and then we'll go through it um, part by part. <laughs> 